Today I'm going to show you exactly how I made this photo in Photoshop. First things first, I need to find a background. So I'm headed to one spot I know I can find epic mountain views. I'm going to bust out the 600mm and bring those mountains in close. Now that we have some fresh snow, it's time to shoot the next part of this photo. I'm meeting up with my friend Aaron who's going to model as a snowboarder. What's up, dude? In my head, I'm imagining something very minimal. I want the focus to be completely on the snowboarder, so we're headed out into this open area where it recently snowed. And now that the sun just came out, we're going to use that to our advantage. For this shot, I'm using an 85mm lens with a 1.8 aperture to get the subject nice and sharp while blurring out the foreground and the background. Let's head back to the studio and put these photos together. All right, I've imported the photos and I'm just going through to make selects of the ones that I think will work together the best. Now that I've selected my images, I'm gonna apply my Lightroom preset that I created years ago as a starting point for the majority of my photographs. It helps to keep the different elements of the image looking consistent. Now I'm going to open these photos in Photoshop, copy the background, and paste that onto the foreground. I'm going to put the background layer beneath the foreground layers. I'm using the Object Select tool so that I can create a mask around the subject. I'm just cleaning up the selection and refining the mask a bit. Once I have the selection, I'm just going to click the Add New Mask button. And on our duplicate subject layer, I'm just going to add a gradient mask. I'm just going to resize the background a bit by hitting Command T and try to get that in place to where it looks good. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this third subject layer, so I'm just going to drag that to the bottom. I'm adding a new layer. This is going to be sort of a fog atmosphere layer. And I'm going to take this cloud brush and select the same color of the mountains. I'm just going to start to paint on this new layer and add some atmospheric perspective. So the mountains look like they're a bit more in the distance. And I'm also going to add a gradient layer as well. I'm going to set the style to reflected. And I want to try to get the center of that gradient right where the horizon line would be. Now I'm adjusting the background with a curves adjustment layer. I'm not super happy with the background, so I'm going to try and reposition it. I'm still not psyched about it, so I'm going to head back into Lightroom and see if I can grab another background that will work. This one looks good, but it needs a few adjustments to make sure the brightness and tones match the foreground layer. Now let's send this to Photoshop. Copy that layer and paste it on top of the current background layer. Just going to resize and reposition. I'm just selecting everything but the background so I can reposition the character. I don't really like where the snowboarder is in the composition. I'm going to get rid of the fog layer as well. I'm just filling in this mask since we moved it. 
just want to start over with the background so I'm going to repaste it and then resize the image to make it a bit more appealing in the composition. Now I need to reposition the gradient fill layer. I'm going to clip this curves layer to the background so that it only affects the background layer. I'm just going to add a new layer and redo that atmospheric perspective with our cloud brush. more adjustments to the background. The other thing I noticed is that the foreground is far too bright. So I need to head back into Lightroom, make a virtual copy of the foreground image so we can make some new adjustments. I'm just adding a gradient mask and lowering the exposure quite a bit just to bring back some detail in the foreground and make sure you can see the footsteps. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna send that over to Photoshop. Paste that layer beneath the subject. Reposition that layer and it should snap right into place. Just adding a gradient mask to blend in that new foreground layer. And a new curves adjustment layer which I'm gonna to clip to that layer so it only affects the foreground. I'm just gonna adjust the contrast a bit to make sure it blends in with the rest of the image. I'm just gonna lower the opacity of the atmosphere layers a bit. I just wanna make it look a bit more realistic. Now I'm readjusting the composition by moving the foreground layers up and to emphasize the light source, I'm adding a radial gradient and setting the blend mode to soft light. Another thing that might help make this look a little more realistic is adding some lens blur to the background. Since our subject is in focus, depending on the aperture that we use, the background would be slightly out of focus. That was good. Now I'm adding a new layer and I'm going to use the cloud brush to paint some atmosphere on top of the entire image. I noticed that my reflection is in the goggles, so I'm just going to remove that. That looks pretty good, but I think there's still something missing here, which is a middle ground. So I have this photo I took a while back of some sand dunes. And I think this will work as snowy hills for the middle ground. Now I'm pasting the dunes behind the subject and I'm just going to make some adjustments so that it fits in well with the scene. Now I need to select and mask out the sky. Just refining the mask a bit. And then I'm going to make the selection and add new mask. Now I'm just adjusting the gradient and moving the fog layer to blend the hills in with the background. And now for the last step in Photoshop, I'm just gonna add a bit of a glow to the image. So I'm combining all the layers into a new layer and I'm gonna add Gaussian Blur. I'm gonna set the blending mode to screen and drop the opacity down to around 20. This is something I've been doing on my images for years, just to add a bit of a dreamy look to them. I'm gonna add a curves adjustment and clip that to the layer below and add some contrast to the glow layer. Now I'm adding a mask and I'm painting out the areas that I don't want to glow. Now I'm saving the image and going back into Lightroom to make the finishing adjustments.
All right, the photo's done. I hope that helped. Let me know what you think.